Hey, YouTube private videos, new uses for powerful tools. That's what we're going to cover right here. Hi, my name is Ronnie Vincer. I'm going to help you understand some of the brand new stuff that's just been available to you in YouTube. Some pretty cool stuff, so let's take a look at the screen right here. So what I've got here is I've got a YouTube editing window. So these are the normal things that you'll see, except I'm going to draw your attention down here to this area called privacy settings. By default, you will normally have things going up to public, which means the entire public gets to see it. Unlisted was an option you always had, which allowed you to share a link of a video with other people. So it wouldn't be found in search, but you could send it out and let other people share it all they wanted because all they needed to have is a link. They didn't even need to have a YouTube account, but they could watch an unlisted video. Where we're focusing on today is this next one called private. Private is now different. It's different if you've connected your YouTube channel the way that GooTube is what I'm calling it, the way Google Plus and Google are wanting you to do it. So I'm going to show you as an example another channel that I've got that is not connected the way that they want. Here it is. This one is my droid training channel. It's kind of not necessarily updated with the latest stuff, but it is still going strong. So it's called usemydroid.com or usemydroid as the YouTube name. Here, if you look here under the privacy settings, just below the privacy, and you get the same options, you look under, this is, by the way, a full partner channel, in case you're wondering, it's, it's one of the older partner things. Uh, down here it says, enter an email address or YouTube username. Remember that, that's key. Enter an email address or a YouTube username. Those are the normal choices we've had when we were doing private sharing. Now, when you have done the things that you want to do, maybe, or Google wants you to do, you are given this option. Add names, circles, bing, 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 that's a little different, or email addresses. So before we could add YouTube names, which is what I'm assuming this is, or email address, what they've added here is the ability to put in circles. So what I'm going to do here is type in one of my favorite circles to share with is called Google Plus Posse. It's just a small group of people that I know love my stuff and want to reshare it. So I can add that in right there. I can add circles. Um, what I've found is that adding in people's names is probably right now the best way or possibly the only way to make this work even though it says you can add circles I have not been able to make that work yet but this is all brand new so who knows maybe it's coming soon Martin Shervington is the gentleman who turned me on to this tip so I want definitely to send him this and uh, some other people have asked to be included like Gideon Rosenblatt and my buddy Mark Trap Hagen so what I'm doing here is I'm going and I'm basically typing individual names. It would be fantastic if they let us add in the circles of people that we know that are interested. And then we, in essence, we have a private way to send a video, a private video. Here's what we're doing. We're sending a private video via email. At least that's how it looks right now. And they get an email telling them, go watch this video. And they can watch it in Gmail right then. And if they do something like what I think they might do, try to share it with other people, It'll let them share it, but those people that receive the share cannot watch the video because it's private. So what I'm trying to do is I'm running a test right now, and you might have been part of it, and thank you for helping. Um, I'm running a test to see if the number of people that you can add into this area is limited like it used to be. In the old days, it was 25, then they upped it to 50. In fact, let's take a look at the YouTube help page, and I'm going to give a link to that in the video here. Um, this is what it currently says, that it's limited to up to 50 other users. Share it with up to 50. Well, I don't know if that's really the case anymore because this whole sharing the circles might be new. So I might have a circle of people that I've asked or that I've gotten into a certain arena and they want to be updated on certain tips. And I want those tips to be private because maybe I'm charging for that particular set of tips. And so these are my monetized clients uh, just as an idea of using this. And then I want to send to that circle. I don't have to type, I don't want to have to type in all of their names one at a time. But right now that seems to be the only way that it's working. So hopefully that'll change. And I will give you a tip in the in the post that's related to this video as to how many in our testing that we did leading up to this post, how many were allowed in 
whether it actually stopped at 50 or it let me go past 50. So that right there is pretty cool new stuff. And by the way, the way you hit send, there is no send button. The best way to understand how you do this is you hit where it says save changes, which I'm going to do right now. It just saved it. There's no other indication other than the fact that it's saved that perhaps it's sent. So there you go. This has been Ronnie Bincer, your helpful Hangout helper. I do a lot with Hangouts on Google+, Plus, as well as, as you can tell here, Google and YouTube and how they all tie together. Circle me. It will be worth your time. Thanks for watching.